So say you're on YouTube and you just came across one of Viheart's new videos on hexaflexagons. Viheart was going way too fast, but you really want to make a trihexaflexagon. So this video is going to walk you through how to make a trihexaflexagon using one strip of paper. So what you will need is a long strip of paper, preferably one inch thick. Um, to begin, take one end and fold it so that the corner of one of your triangles is going to be bisected by the edge of that paper, just like that. And once you have that, you can fold these equilateral triangles on your strip of paper until you uh, finish throughout the entire strip. And make sure when you're doing this, you're folding the paper back and forth, basically fanning it back and forth. And uh, if you were to do it so that you do not fan it back and forth, then your triangles will not be consistent. So make sure you're kind of doing this like as if you were folding a fan. Now it's important to count how many equilateral triangles you have. Here I'm numbering uh, nine equilateral triangles, and that is the least amount of triangles you need to make a trihexaflexagon. If you're using a glue stick, um, it might be better to have 11 equilateral triangles to make the hexaflexagon look nicer. So that is how many triangles I will be using for this strip of paper. After you have finished folding the trihexaflexagon, you can practice flexing it by pinching the edges. Um, but in order to uh, make sure everything works well, make sure you remember to glue or tape depending on what you have. So I'm just finishing off by gluing to hold everything in place. All right, now if you have made it here in this video and have uh, completed your first trihexaflexagon, congratulations. Um, now just have fun coloring and decorating, making your own designs.